Hola, muy buenas tardes amigos, gracias por acompañarnos nuevamente a una cápsula de tratamientos térmicos. Mi nombre es Víctor Zacarías y soy el director de GTS en México. A nombre de todo el equipo de GTS Coahuila, Querétaro y Sonora, les damos la más cordial bienvenida. El día de hoy estoy en el Fortnite North America, que es un evento de tratadores térmicos para tratadores térmicos. Se supone que es el Disneylandia de los tratadores. Yo no, nadie he escuchado que le diga así, pero bueno, es Disneyland of Heat Treaters. Anyway, so, <laughs> El día de hoy tengo el placer de platicar con mi amigo Doc Schuller. Doc Schuller es el director de es, uh, Pyro Consulting. Es un especialista en pirometría, pero también es un auditor de NatCap sumamente experimentado por sus años que tiene en tratamiento térmico comercial. Doc, thank you very much for making this time. Absolutely. Thank you. So, as I told you, what I want you to hear, what I want to hear from you, what 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 people wants to hear from you, it's what's coming on AMS 2750. Sure. Uh, what's the mess with F and G, and what's the next step after G? What is going to happen? Right. So. Um, just backtracking a little bit to Revision F. Uh, Revision F took us three years to put together. Yes, it was quite a bit of a rewrite. Yes, yes. And so the intent is going forward that every couple of years we're going to bring in additional clarifications, clarifications. and Good. things like that to keep everything in one place. Historically, suppliers have had to go to the parametry reference guide uh -huh, and uh -huh, keep uh -huh, track uh -huh. of auditor advisories. Uh -huh. And so we're trying to minimize those other areas gotcha. and keep it all in one place so that gotcha. it's right in front of you in the specification. Right. So if something's not clear, we want to deal with it in the spec. Got it. I, right. I'm glad you clarified that because when, they, when people hear about the change from F to G, Everybody started screaming like, come on, it's just coming the F. I'm just getting used to F and then now uh, you're telling me you're going to 4G. Like, you're going to be kidding me. What? You don't have anything to do at the AMEC committee, at the NATCAP uh, meeting? Right. Thank you for that clarification. So these review, reviews are expecting to come more often, but it's clarifications, right? Sure. Okay. So I think everybody will be happy to find that if you were compliant with revision F, you're 99% compliant with revision G. Did already. you hear that? <laughs> Don't worry. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Don't okay. worry. Okay. So, um, as far as NADCAP is concerned, we're still working on revising the checklist uh -huh. that the auditors use to audit right. 2750. Yeah. So, there was just an auditor advisor, advisory that came out yesterday uh, stating that until the checklist comes out, plus three months, you'll be audited to the current checklist which is which is uh, revision a and we're working on revision B right now I would expect sometime around the end of the year first okay. January of 2023 for that checklist to come out Got it. and then you'd have Got three it. months afterwards to get right. it implemented unless of course you have another customer requirement that would require more rapid implementation okay. Boeing Boeing, for example, has a six-month implementation requirement, uh, and that would have started on June 29. So there are customers that are required to meet Revision G already. Okay, for but for the rest of the regular not buying stuff, right. they still are going to be compliant with Revision F, right? Mm -hmm. They are going to be compliant with the checklist Revision A. Right. Right, I get it. I so get in it. the meantime, though, yes. Vic, what you can do is, if you make the transition in your system to revision G, uh -huh. you can be audited to revision G, even though the new checklist hasn't come you out. You can do it. Yes. Oh, okay. So in that case, you would tell the auditor ahead of time, hey, we've already moved on to Rev G. Okay. And then the auditor would answer the current checklist questions as they would pertain to revision G. Interesting, okay. Yes. That's a little details that we sometimes don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay, that, that makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Doc, no, thanks so much. That really clarifies a lot of the concerns that we currently have. At least in Mexico, I don't know in the rest, but uh, probably in the rest of the world is the same. Sure. Like, okay, now another revision. Another <laughs> checklist, like, come on, are you freaking kidding us? So, right. thank you so much. Doc. My pleasure. Thank you so much. Muchas gracias por acompañarnos esta columna. Esta parte es muy importante. Sum, eh, sumarizando un poco en español, para los que están preocupados de la revisión F a la G, lo escucharon de un auditor de NATCA. Eh, F cumple el 99% de G. La G es clarificación. Lo he dicho en muchos posts en LinkedIn. It's a clarification, ¿ok? So, 
eh, perdón por el pocho, ¿verdad? pero me gusta hablar en español y en inglés porque aquí hay que hablar de las dos cosas. En cualquier caso, muchas gracias por acompañarnos. Doc, again, thank you very much. Nos vemos en la siguiente cápsula. Hasta luego. See you. Bye.